Schedule changes are coming to most metro lines, starting with the BNSF line, and it's being driven by the demands of the new, federally mandated Positive Train Control Safety System, or PTC. PTC will automatically stop a train if the engineer fails to obey a signal or exceeds the speed limit. Here's why it will impact schedules. To handle as many passengers as it does in every morning rush period, Metro must quickly turn trains around at downtown stations and send them back out to make more inbound trips. The same goes for the evening rush period, as trains complete their trips to the suburbs and turn back to pick up more customers downtown. Metro calls this process flipping a train, and it will take longer because of PTC. Metro's current schedules depend on our crews being able to flip a train in less than 10 minutes, and to do that, the engineer must cut out and secure the controls at one end of the train, walk to the other end, and activate the controls there. The crew must make sure all passengers have left the train, followed by performing a brake test, and the crew must gather together for required job briefing in which they must discuss any conditions that may affect the trip, such as work zones, crossover speeds, which cars will be open for customers, any unscheduled stops, the spotting of the train at short platforms, which crew members will operate the doors and make announcements, and the auditing and collection of fares. Under PTC, however, the engineer now must also initialize the PTC system before each unique train trip, which will add to the time needed between flips. This is a multi-step process that is required for the PTC system to function. The engineer must use a computer screen in his compartment to select the railroads that the train will traverse or cross along its route. For the BNSF line, that will be BNSF Railway and Amtrak. For other lines, however, it will be multiple railroads. Every railroad's PTC system must operate seamlessly with the PTC system of other railroads. Enter the number of the daily operating bulletin that contains information about conditions that affect safe train movement that day. Enter the unique number for the train. Download any new software available for the system. This will normally be done in off-peak periods. Verify the number of cars and locomotives in the train. The system needs to know the weight of the train so it can calculate stopping distances and know when to start braking the train if the engineer is speeding or failing to respond to signals. Metro estimates it will now take 12 to 15 minutes to flip a train. On the current BNSF schedule, there are 30 trains that have scheduled flips of 10 minutes or less. Therefore, time must be added to those schedules to accommodate PTC initialization, and those changes in turn will affect nearly all other trains on the schedule. The change is affecting the BNSF line first because it is the first line to have PTC. Similar changes will be needed later this year as PTC is deployed on the three UP lines, the Rock Island line, and on other lines starting in 2019.